round two pools. We got to remember, getting 49th at a tournament that has over a thousand entrants, not that bad. No, absolutely not. It's still like the top, what, 2% or something? Yeah, it's something ridiculously good. So we got MVD here who uh, uh, recently got to uh, 34th rank, 31st rank on the PGR. Controversially so. Controversially so. so. <laughs> but I think his gameplay this weekend is certainly motivated by that. He wants to make a statement. He just defeated Karna 2-0 off the stream, and now he's got a shot against one of the biggest boys out there, Nairo, fourth best in the world. But I think we all know what he's really capable of when he's playing his best. Yeah, that's absolutely right. But right now, MVD already has him at 96%. In the first like 30 seconds, he's already like you know having his way with him, trying to get that down to out space just a little bit. Okay, next to Banfield, couldn't get the F smash afterwards though. I think that's MVD's favorite combo, down tilt to forward smash. I'd yeah. have to ask him, but I don't think I really need to. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> he does something it I so much. Yeah, I see him go for it more than any other Diddy Kong player. But hey, he plays that to great effect as well. Nairo, yeah, they're not quite close enough to the top of the screen to see that kill just yet, but still, your heart's got to race every time you see it. Yeah, Nairo's starting to bring it back a little bit. Already has him at 71 damage. They're both rolling together in synchronization. They're like swans out here. And look at that. Nairo with the response so quickly has basically evened this one up, pushing MVD to the corner. But yeah, Diddy Kong, such a tiny character. It's really hard for characters like Zero Suit to hit him. All our aerials hit relatively high. And whoa, look at him floundering a little bit after that down smash. Very rare for Nairo, but hey, the stakes are high. I think that is another one of the themes of this event. Everyone is out here looking to make a huge statement, especially the last Evo for Smash 4, and it's going to be MVD saying, hey, first stock is mine, Nairo. Time to keep up. You can see up tilt on that middle platform. My God, you know, like Nairo has definitely got a lot on his shoulders here because he's, you know, he's currently ranked fourth, so he has a lot to prove that, like, hey, maybe I can take home this tournament. Gets the boost kick out of the shield. Good stuff, evening the stocks really easily. Yeah, both of these guys could make a really deep run into this bracket, but... Certainly huge obstacles in each other's way. So we're going to see who's able to pull it out. MVD has been keeping the pace excellently so far. But Nairo is one of those guys who could sweep the rug out from under your feet before you even had time to realize you were standing on it. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what he does with all these grabs, too. Like, he's so good at landing the grabs, and he's used to get so much off of it. It could potentially even lead into some kills if you had the percent high enough. I like how MVD is just going for a lot of these really pushy monkey flips, saying, hey, man, I know that it's hard to contend with this, especially the kick. Zero Suit, not the best facing forward in the air. She's got neutral air and forward air, but the way that those moves hit is not all that threatening to Diddy Kong. Again, the small frame really coming into play. And he's got the banana peel in hand. That's why he's going to try to play on the platforms now while he waits for MVD to, like, expend his resource. Uh, Diddy Kong with the banana is a huge threat to anyone, but especially Zero Suit Samus. She doesn't have quite the out-of-shield game to contend with banana and down tilt or... All of the really safe moves Diddy has in his kit, forward air too. It's hard for her to respond to. Yeah, it makes it kind of a difficult matchup for Nairo, which is why, you know, we've seen like that whole like year year long rivalry between like Nairo and Zero of him just trying to get through like not only Zero but Diddy Kong gets the monkey flip into a grab. Good yeah. stuff. Sliding underneath the paralyzer just because he low profiles even further in the ending lag of his uh, monkey flip kick. Just a consistent thorn in Zero Suit Samus' side. But we'll see what Nairo's able to do. One clean hit could end it all. A down smash into a boost kick, perhaps. But MVD knows the same is true for him. Down tilt into whatever, but oh, oh. trapped on the platform. I think he wanted to just land and shield, but didn't wait long enough. And that's going to be the first game for Nairo, who was honestly playing from behind for most of it. Yeah, I mean, that was really unfortunate for MVD at the end, because like you said, he probably just tried to go for like a shield. Because he had all the landing lag from air dodging into the ground, Nairo just easily capitalized on that, because of course Nairo has a great punish game. Did you see the, the timer on the victory screen? Said it was three minutes and 30 seconds. That did not feel that long. I feel like it, when you have, when you see like the likes of Zero Suit versus Diddy Kong, very fast characters, like to do lots of damage, I think it just kind of flies by. Yeah. Even though the, the time on the clock was not necessarily <laughs> reflective of that. Yeah, I, I guess they're so good at avoiding each other because they're so quick, but when the damage comes, it comes in big spurts. Yeah. Like we're seeing right here, MD already racking up 62 off of that one singular grab. Oh, the forward air missed the fast fall timing. I guess the hit lag on his shield threw him off a little bit. Nairo able to punish the angled up forward tilt. So unorthodox, but that's the kind of creativity that is taking this man to consistent top fours for the existence of this game. Yeah, making energy esports proud, man. That hit the up throw of the banana hit and tripped MVD there. I <laughs> I want my money back. Fifty nine ninety nine for what? Yo, yeah, Sakura, you listening? Okay, we got that flip kick just trying to avoid that banana peel. He actually just went right to the dash attack because his actual active hitboxes went through Zero Suit. 
Just goes for the raw F smash. I mean, that was a good trap because he had the banana peel right in front of him, so he was potentially waiting for like a slip. Oh, and the animation of Zero Suit's down throw getting Nairo trip there. Wow, F smash is just MVD's move. He has claimed sole ownership yeah. of that. And I think the other move right. I'd say is his is the neutral air, which he consistently will use to trap your neutral get up into a spike. This is looking like MVD's game if I've ever seen it, though. My man likes F smash, neutral air, down tilt, rocket Barrels. barrel boost, like the whole shebang. Oh, he's got the banana peel in hand. Waiting yeah. for Nairo to commit. It's going to make him have to think really hard about what he's coming down from the air with. If you pick a button, it better be something on like neutral air or back air, and it better be as close to the ground as possible to get that maximum frame advantage. Love it, though. Snuffing out Monkey Flip mm -hmm. with a dash attack. Nairo knows. Zero Suit's got her tools in this matchup, even though on paper it's pretty rough. Oh, the nice ball rolling catch. it, though. Nairo just completely shutting out MVD's approach right there, and it takes the banana peel to boot. It's going to get clanked out by MVD's back air, though, and... Man, I feel like Diddy Kong is the best character at dealing with Banana too. Not only is he so good at using it because of his fast item throw and all the stuff he gets off of it, but man, it is hard to hit him with it. And then when you naturally just play Diddy Kong, you get used to using projectiles since it's your main kit, so you know how to like deal with it when it's thrown against you, obviously. Exactly. Your opponents are typically going to be looking oh, to turn the tables on you with it. That was uh -oh. really scary. Smart by Nairo, they're just going to reset to the ground, not bite off more than he can chew. Okay. Sometimes the best extension to a combo is actually just landing, cutting it short, and picking up a read on your opponent's mm. defensive action afterward. Instead of being overly aggressive, especially when you don't have any platforms to work with. Oh, because he yeah. had the banana peel, yeah. he thought he could get the down smash punish. He might have thought also that the down throw of the banana, point blank, would still trip MVD. Mm. Just a little bit too far away from the peel, I suppose. There you go, using the flip kick to just get over MVD. Where's he going? Lands right in front of him, cannot get the boost kick to connect into the final swing. MVD sliding out of that real quick. And, ooh, the Yo. roll in to up tilt. MVD, man, it was looking so good for him the entire time. And then Nairo started turning up the Jets, but MVD actually able to close that one out, take it to a game. Th hey, bro, you got another game to play. Where are you going? He thought he won. He's like, it's over now, yeah, right? Didn't I win game one? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's the set, right? I'm going down the stairs. Um, oh, he wants water. water break. Yeah, oh, Corny's got him. Oh, oh <laughs> what? it was open. It was open. Oh my God! <laughs> Evo moment Corny number forty-six. Just an open water bottle at I, MVD. I cannot believe I just saw that. <laughs> I bet he just throws it right back. Thanks, Coney. Oh my God. Man, that's why he's a commentator and not a baseball player. Yeah, I mean, he's wearing a baseball-esque shirt. Yeah, he is. He is. Oh man, that was you cannot pay for that kind of entertainment. <laughs> How many funny moments have we had like that with Coney and throwing things? You know, the tie just, landing on his yeah. head perfectly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. It just always happens to ha – the best thing about it is it's all accidental. Yes, you know? it is. <laughs> I, I don't think he didn't close the water bottle on purpose, but if he did, then, hey, extra props for yeah. being a prankster. <laughs> what a, it's on April Fool Fool's, man. You could have just walked up and yeah. given it to him. I don't but, think hey, he, right, he, he didn't anyway, want to get up. MVD is going to show you how to throw things properly with those yeah. bananas leading into a lot of damage. That's right. Nairo already – in not great shape, man. 67%. Not where you want to be in the opening 15, 20 seconds of a match. Going to aggressively challenge him on the way down with forward air. Diddy Kong, excellent buttons. Doesn't have to press that air dodge if he doesn't have to, man. If you think back to when Zero was an active competitor, this guy would never air dodge. Doesn't want to give it to you. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely been conditioned by that from fighting Diddy Kong upon Diddy Kong. The best Diddy Kong in the game now. I, mean, I feel like every game started this way, you know, with Nairo at a deficit in terms of percentage. Very true. And you see that he's able to keep up even despite not starting so great oh and that could be oh wow he's gonna fall out mvd Ooh. has had the grace of the gods on his side today when it comes to boost kicks and panda global coming in clutch you know he's, he's taking that sdi lessons from uh east sam speaking of di excellent di from nairo getting out of the down tilt to up smash he was already holding away my man is prepared nice catch with that backer he threw the banana peel up because he knew that he was going to go for a high recovery with that monkey flip Look how even this is already, and now actually in Nairo's favor, not going to land that flip jump at the edge, but still, MVD now in control of the stage, just leaving that banana there ominously, waiting for Nairo's get up, yep, jump, like, that's pretty much the meta at this mm -hmm. point, everyone's looking for ledge jump. And you know, MVD's definitely on the look for it, you know, like I said, he's looking to the left, when you're against, on the edge against Diddy, Diddy Kong with banana peel out like that, it becomes scary, it's like the worst position to be in. And MVD gonna, oh, just Z drop back arrow. I like it. Forward throw, back throw. Oh, the DI mix, mix up. up. Oh he was thinking God. Nairo is holding to the right because he doesn't want to die from forward throw. Either way, gonna even it up real quick. No lead for MVD here. He's got this invincibility to work with. We got but one, nothing off of it. One stock apiece, man. 
Going for the banana peel, tries to rack up some damage with that up smash. Nairo's turning up. 37 and counting right now. This juggle trap. What's he got? Picks up the banana, but no. MVD right in there with another disrespectful monkey flip saying, I'm forcing my way through no matter what. I like that roll just to escape the monkey flip, you know, 50-50 mix up entirely. Wants to go for the pivot grab. MVD sees the pivot grab coming, just tries to run away instead. Yep, missed the punish opportunity, but that's fine. Better than getting grabbed. Yeah, 100%. Now MVD getting the grab himself, racking up to 80 damage. This could be a potential for an upset for MVD. And you see just how fast that damage builds from Diddy Kong. Oh, smart, not air dodging. MVD has basically not air dodged out of disadvantage at all in the set, and that could have been it if he forward smashed. Oh, he had the wi game winning moment. The set winning moment. He has a banana peel in hand, throws it against him, whiffs the down tilt. Both players matter. are starting to do a lot. Oh, the red! Oh, he's all coming! He pops off! He gets the up smash! Panda Global's MVD taking that win over Nairo, proving to the naysayers that he belongs in that BGR. Wow, what a shakeup. Nairo, one of the favorites to make it into winner's finals, going to take an early trip to losers before top 48. He's got to win two more sets just to qualify at this point. Oh. And Esam right there with a supportive hug. Man, that matchup, you just see how tough it is, how hard Zero Suit has to work to even land aerials on the small pro.